Okay, this uh, exercise is gonna do really well for this like side glute area and also like these, you know, obliques and like even quadratus lumborum and anything that's kind of like moving to the side because that's what we're gonna do. So, start doing this, right? Just go up to the side and I'm just gonna put some restrictions on the way we do it. This is gonna hurt a lot, I reckon. We don't wanna go like bleh. We don't wanna do that. We wanna make it as pure, just to the side as possible. And we don't wanna to go too far that we really kind of like compromise the spine in a way that's like, you know, I. I like for example, if I was to put it this way, I can't. The, the tension buildup is too high, so to compensate for that, well, I'll just go Ugh, just to keep the balance a bit. Just do it to a point that's like, you know, pretty comfortable. And I don't think this one's gonna go for as long as the others because this one's gonna burn. <laughs> So, how are we doing this? Before you go up, you, you pretty much need to kind of sway to the side a bit to put your weight on the foot that's going to do the, you know, the balancing. You can't just go, otherwise you're four. So you kind of sway a bit, but the swaying, the moving to the other foot doesn't come from you saying, okay, I'm gonna put my weight over here on this foot and then lift the other one up. It's just like, I think that just the intention of wanting to lift the foot kind of makes you automatically go there, okay? So all we really want, we just want a very basic intent to lift this up to the side. Don't try to Think about like, oh, where should I squeeze my muscles and which muscles should I squeeze and how much should I squeeze them? Doesn't matter. Caveman doesn't know what the gluteus medius is. Caveman doesn't go, oh, I think I should use my gluteus medius to do this. But maybe with a little bit of the gluteus maximus and involve the gluteus minimus as well, I can probably give a squeeze to this QL up here. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. Caveman is just like foot up. So one mistake I've probably been making, well, it's not necessarily a mistake, but I've probably been tipping the pelvis too much. So let's like just relax the pelvis and not, not kind of Bring the pelvis up, like hike the pelvis with the, with the obliques and the um, QL. Let's kind of just bring it down to doing this so that pelvis stays nice and level. <sighs> Definitely hurts. You should feel it mostly here. Just stop talking because I'm like, well, that, that kills. <laughs> this will kill. There's no doubt about it. This is gonna absolutely kill. See, what we're doing is it's very nice and smooth and controlled. Most people, if they go to the gym, you know, if they do a movement like this, what they do is they put the, uh, the cable, right? So the cable would attach to the foot and it would, you know, be connected to some pulley weight system and they'd go, pull, right? And the weights would go, bleh, like that. But what they'd do is, they'd go, everybody look at me, I'm lifting weights. 
But it's not just an ego thing. I didn't mean to point out, I didn't mean to suggest rather, that doing that is some ego thing. It's just um, a lack of um, maybe maybe a lack of knowledge, perhaps knowledge. My mentor has told me, Ty, you gotta have knowledge. So. We're not skipping over the hard part, right? Let's bring it all the way back to the center. And really nice and controlled out to the side. relax down a bit at the back like you know it was a bit anteriorly rotated because I'm exaggerating and I just felt it come down a bit you might notice that as well just try to relax the tension of the pelvis just minimize it feeling that Try to look ahead. Let's try to slow it down a bit. So there's a lot of balance. Where, you know, there's this mode you can do as a human where you don't have full balance and you just kind of go, huh, huh. Yeah. huh. And you're fine. And you're fine. So, let's just see if we can go like this. Quality. Like if you don't have like at least a little pause at the top, then Let's actually do it like this, right? So every time we get to the top, we'll try to be completely still in the, in the body. Because it occurred to me just now that if you go up, for example, if you go, you know, it's just a, like where there's no real pause at the end, or you're definitely not using the muscle in that end range. That's that's definitely true. However, if you do pause it, but another part of your body is not paused, then you could be fudging it, not doing it legitimately. Like you're kind of like making yourself think, "Oh yeah, it's paused," but you're actually just compensating in a way. So let's see if we can go up and do a complete, what, like just, you know, ah. Just a tiny hold. Okay, so we're continuously adding in things to make it a bit better. Here's the next one. What we're gonna do now to keep the pelvis more level is we're gonna avoid um, leaning first. We're gonna make sure that we don't lean first. We're gonna try to lead it with our feet. And to do that, to lead with the feet, I think what we should do is just tell the, the foot to go to the side. And that's it. Foot to side. So what you're gonna notice is your foot stays closer to the ground. Like it's not like lifted up straight away. It's like staying closer to the ground. Let me, let me show like, you know, leading with kind of shoulders and bend first. All right? And now let's do leading with foot first, ready? Ooh. 
Oof. That's intense. I'll show you what it looks like side one. I don't know what value this will have. It could have value. Like for example, if you're near a mirror, you can look in the mirror as well. Pretty sore. Ooh. Uh, pelvis is relaxing more down. You have the glutes attached to the, the femur from the pelvis. Also coming down from at the back, you got the hamstrings come down from the pelvis and then they attach to the, I think only tibia, but maybe also fibula, possibly fib, fibula, I'm not sure, but to the lower leg because you can do this. So that's coming pelvis down to the lower leg, let's call it. Leg, but pelvis down to leg, we'll call it. Forms. Okay, let's give a little squeeze at the end. It's just like, huh, huh, huh. Okay, and with that squeeze, what we want to do is we just want to get a little more height than we've been getting. Okay, so you got that down to the leg, right? And then, in front, you got the quads that come up from the leg. Like, you got some quads that come up from the patella to the, the femur. And you got some that come up all the way to the pelvis. So it's going down, and then up, and the pelvis can move, tip back and forth, right? It's got these muscles going, so, you know, this whole system is like, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, let's just uh, do a bit of this. And what you want to be careful of is that you don't get up here and then just do the rest with a bend. Because you don't want to go, huh. that just like compensates. You're like, oh, look, I've got my legs so high. <laughs> Pretty much want to keep the pelvis level. So there's this loop, right? And then there's a loop at the front, at the top, because you get the back muscles, they come up off the pelvis. Got my rib cage come down a bit like I was holding it up too much. Just got to come down. Oops. Feel the balance being a bit better. Let's bring it out two stages, right? Yeah. to where you know you feel kind of comfortable and then into discomfort like blah, blah, blah. so the back muscles come up onto the spine like some come originate from the pelvis some originate from the sacrum it's the lower spine or whatever and come up you know so and then it's onto the onto the um 
So you have some go up onto the scapula, you have the latissimus dorsi goes up onto the, the arm, but you know, the arm is attached to the rib cage, the spine at the top is attached to the rib cage, so the muscles come up onto something that's attached to the rib cage, and then what do you go to the front? You got rib cage back down to the belt. So it's like this loop. How's it? How time? Yeah, pretty good, right? I probably, it's not hurting me as much as I expected. Probably I didn't, you know, go quite hard enough, but still, I've had some really good <sighs> relaxations in the pelvis. Like, I've really felt the pelvis, like, just relax down. Like, it's as if the glutes activated better, and then the back. You know, and the back can, can certainly be a muscle. Back muscles can certainly kind of like, you know, make your pelvis go, Ugh. it's as if when the, the glutes got a bit more activation, the back was like, okay, I'll just, I'll let the glutes do it. The glutes look like they're actually doing something because most of us, you know, our glutes aren't activated like they should. And I think that's because it's not like this, well, we copy movement patterns, that's a concept from Edwin. We do copy movement patterns, but mind stuff, stuff going on in your mind makes you <laughs> take on wrong postures. Okay, well that's pretty good. Should feel a good burn here. And now that we've just done that, let's just stand with um, knees bent a bit. And just give that pelvis another chance to relax. Just focus on those back muscles. See if they can just relax a bit. <clears throat> just do a bit of this. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, see you next time.